Hi friends! I'm Miss Ashley, the Children's Librarian at the Anderson Branch of the Public Library of Cincinnati and Hamilton County. And I'm here and I get to do your story time live tonight and I'm so excited. So thank you so much for joining me. Now in my story times, we do a few things every week that my kiddos just have to have done. And one of those is our welcome song. So if you can go ahead and start clapping with me, then we will go ahead and welcome everyone. Are we ready? All right. Welcome, welcome everyone. Now we're here, let's have some fun. First we clap our hands like so. Then we bend and touch our toes. Can you touch your toes with me? All right, let's bend over and touch those toes. Good job, now let's stretch up way up high and touch that ceiling. Are you tall enough? I'm not. All right, let's stretch this way. Oh, let's stretch that way. Good job. And then on the count of three, I want you to give me one big body wiggle, okay? And we're going to get our wiggles out. Are you ready? One, two, three. Shake. Good job, friends. You did so well. All right, let's go ahead and start our first book. And this is one of my favorite books, and it's called little blue truck so i don't know if you recognize him but they have a few books featuring little blue truck and it's by alice shirtle and it's illustrated by jill McElmurray. and in this book i'm going to ask you if you can make some predictions do you know what a prediction is hmm let's think a prediction is a guess so I'm going to ask you to guess or predict what happens next in the story. And parents, that's a fun activity to do with your children because it helps build their um, story structure skills, which they need later on down the road when they start to learn how to read by themselves. If they know how a story is structured and they can make predictions, it helps them with their reading. So let's go ahead with Little Blue Truck. All right. Horn went beep engine purred friendliest sounds you ever heard and there's the little blue truck little blue truck came down the road beep said blue to a big green toad now what do you predict that the big green toad is gonna say hmm Toad said croak and winked an eye when little blue truck went rolling by. So if you said croak, you were right. Toads can also ribbit. Sheep said ba. Cow said moo. Oink said a piggy. Beep said blue. Cluck said a chicken. And her chick said, peep. Ma said a goat. Blue said, beep. Nay said a horse. Whack said a duck. Beep said the friendly little blue truck. Honk yelled a dump truck coming through. I've big important things to do. I haven't got time to pass the day with every duck along the way. Now look at this dump. He looks pretty angry, right? Yeah. Do you think that he's going to be nice in this book or grumpy in this book? And you can see on the windows and on the in the air, it's raining. Do you think something's going to happen? Let's see. Room went the dump around a curve. He saw a puddle and he tried to swerve. Into the mud rolled the big fat truck and his big important wheels got stuck. So he wasn't very nice and he was going too fast and he got stuck in the mud. 
His heavy duty dump truck tires were sunk down deep in muck and mire. Honk, cried the dump, and he sounded scared. But nobody heard, or nobody cared. Then, look who's coming. Into the mud, bump, 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 came the little blue truck to help the dump. Little Blue pushed with all his might. Now Blue and the dump were both stuck tight. Help, 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 cried the Little Blue truck. Beep, 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 I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Everybody heard that beep, beep, beep. The cow came running with the chick and the sheep. Oh no, are they gonna help him get out, do you think? Up at a gallop ran the big brown horse. Goat jumped over the fence, of course. The hen came flapping with the chick and the duck and everybody pushed the little blue truck. So it looks like he's gonna get some help, good job. Head to head and rump to rump, they all pushed Blue. Who pushed the dump? Do you think it worked? Does it look like they're getting them out? I don't know. They couldn't quite budge that heavy load. Then who hopped up but the big green toad? And look at him with those big muscles. What do you predict he's going to use those muscles for? Hmm. All together, one, two, three. One last push, and the trucks were free. They used all their strength to get the trucks out. Thanks, little brother, said the dump to Blue. You helped me and they helped you. Now I see a lot depends on a helping hand from a few good friends. Beep, said Blue, who wants a ride? Everyone scrambled to jump inside. Oink, quack, ba, mer, cluck, peep, nay, croak, Ma! And what do you predict Little Blue says? Beep, beep, beep. Good job, everyone. You did so well with that. Awesome. Give yourself a hand. And in that book, there were so many barnyard animals, which are some of my favorites. So I want to do Old MacDonald Had a Farm. Can you all help me? So when I show the animal, I want you to shout out what it is and help me make the sounds. Can you do that? Awesome, great, let's try it. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on his farm he had a horse, E-I-E-I-O. With a nay, nay here and a nay, nay there. Here a nay, there a nay, everywhere a nay, nay. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Good job, let's go again. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on his farm he had a dog. E-I-E-I-O, with a woof, woof here and a woof, woof there. Here a woof, there a woof, everywhere a woof, woof. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O, hmm, what's another good animal? Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O, and on his farm he had a Cat, you're right, E-I-E-I-O, with a meow meow here and a meow meow there, here a meow, there a meow, everywhere a meow meow, old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O.
All right, let's do another one. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on his farm, he had an owl, E-I-E-I-O. With the hoot hoot here and a hoot hoot there, here a hoot, there a hoot, everywhere a hoot hoot. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Good job, everyone. You did so great. Now, there is one more thing that I would love to see on a farm, but I've never seen one. So indulge me one more time in one more verse and see if you've ever seen this on the farm. Are we ready? Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on his farm, he had a train, E-I-E-I-O. With the toot toot here and a toot toot there, here a toot, there a toot, everywhere a toot toot. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Good job, everyone. Now, we usually don't see trains on the farm, but I thought that one would be pretty fun because the next book that we are going to read is called Trucker and Train. And it's by Hannah Stark. And the illustrations are by Bob Kolar. So let's see what Trucker and Train do. Trucker loved to rule the road. He loved the sound of his engine. He loved the size of his tires. And most of all, Trucker loved his mighty horn. Now, can you make a prediction of what his horn might sound like? Let's see. Go ahead and say it really loud. Are you ready? Let's find out. Honk! Trucker blasted as he rushed through the city. The moped swayed and gasped. The cars rattled and gulped. The pickup sputtered and followed in all. Trucker was bigger and stronger and tougher than anyone else on the road. One day, Trucker went hauling far from the city. Up, 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 he trucked over the mountains and through the clouds. Trucker beamed at the sight of the valley below. He'd never seen such open land and such endless roads. Whoosh! He cruised down the mountain, letting the breeze cool his hot engine. <coughs> oh, who's coming now? On the horizon, Trucker spotted a long, strong freight zipping along a track. Who is that? Trucker revved. He shifted into high gear and raced up alongside. Who is it? Train, you're right. Trucker gawked at the two, four, six, eight, ten cars pulled by the train's big black engine. Tick-a-tick-a-clack, 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 tick-a-tick-a-clack. The mopeds were smitten. The cars were captivated. The pickups fell starstruck. Hmm. But Trucker's tough horn was nothing next to Train's engine and whistle. Trucker fumed. His hubcaps blurred. He revved his engine with all of his might and proudly pulled ahead of the train. Ding, 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 ding. Up ahead, two gates closed across the road. Everyone slowed to a stop. Why, Trucker revved, are we the ones stopping? Honk! 
The mopeds shook. The cars shuddered. The pickups glared. But no one moved for trucker. Honk, honk, honk. Tick a tick a clack, tick a tick a clack, tick a tick a clack, tick a tick a clack. Train cruised across the junction. The mopeds gleamed, the cars wowed, the pickups swooned. Everyone was fascinated. Everyone except Trucker. Does Trucker look very happy with Train? No. Why, Trucker wondered, don't they ever gleam at me? Ding, 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 ding. Driving on, Trucker saw Train's track head into a station. He was happy to see the road bend up into the mountains. The Trucker gets to go over the mountains, but can you see where Train has to go? He has to go through the mountain. Up, 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 Trucker hauled as the mopeds zipped past and the cars whizzed by and the pickups hurried on without even a glance. Honk, honk, Trucker tried to greet them. Rev, rev, Trucker tried to play, but no one seemed to notice. No one seemed to care. And Trucker suddenly felt smaller than he ever had before. At the top of the mountain, Trucker pulled aside to rest. He watched as the moped zipped around the bends. He gazed at the cars coasting along. He smiled at the pickups tracing the ridges. And Trucker looked ahead into the valley and saw Train's track reappear out of a tunnel. Oh no, Trucker whispered. There, down below, Train's tracks, another junction, a broken off gate. What if nobody notices? Trucker trembled. What if no one stops? What do you predict Trucker's going to have to do? Whoosh! Trucker hurtled down the mountain. The moped swerved. The cars pulled aside. The pickups braked very, very hard. Trucker's freight thrust down the mountain with more speed than ever. He's going really fast. Er, trucker stopped. He turned. He reversed, he turned, he reversed. And what is he doing? He had to block the road. So now he's in the path so that the cars can't get through. Beep, beep, squeaked the mopeds. Toot, toot, piped the cars. Honk, honk, blared the pickups. One by one, they came to a stop and stared Trucker down. Trucker didn't like the beeps or the toots or the honks. He wished the horns would stop. He wished this time that train could chug faster. <coughs> tick a tick a clack, tick a tick a clack, tick a tick a clack. Everything rattled. And Trucker counted to himself. Tick a tick a clack, two. Tick a tick a clack, four. Tick a tick a clack, six. Tick a tick a clack, eight. Tick a tick a clack, ten. Ten cars passed. Train hurried off around the next bend and out of everyone's sight. And the valley fell silent until. <laughs> Off in the distance, Train let out a long, thankful whistle. And one by one, the mopeds began to beep. The cars began to cheer. The pickups began to shimmy. So does that mean that they're happy again? Let's see. 
and Trucker started off along with the others, happy to share the road. The end. Good job, Trucker, for helping to save the other cars and for not being so grumpy anymore or being jealous of train. He actually ended up really liking the train. So that book had a lot of vehicles in it. And some of the vehicles, like the cars and the mopeds, they drove on roads, right? A lot of our vehicles do. But the train drove on something different. It was driving on a track. And I know another vehicle that doesn't go on the road and it doesn't go on tracks. And it looks kind of like a cone or like a triangle. It's a rocket ship, you're right. Now my Anderson Storytime kids just love to zoom, zoom, zoom to the moon in our rocket ships. So let's go ahead and zoom, zoom, zoom. Can you help me? All right, zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. If you like to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon in five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! All right, good job, everyone. But I wanna try that one more time now that we all know how it goes. And all the parents and everybody in the room, I want you to do that really big blast off so that I can hear you from all the way at my house. Are you ready? Can you help me? All right. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. In five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Good job, everyone. That was so fun. Thank you so much for helping me. Now, in a lot of our books, we've been reading about some trains and we saw the moon in that song. Well, the last book I have, because I like trains and it's bedtime. So the last book I'm going to read is called The Good Night Train Rolls On. And it's written by June Sobel and illustrated by Laura Haliska Bife. So the good night train rolls on. And in this book, there's a repeated phrase, which is really fun if you all would help me say it. And when I point to you, I want you to say, chugga, chugga, shh, shh. Can you do that for me? All right, so the good night train rolls on. Stars are twinkling, moon shines bright. The good night train chugs through the night. Dream dust lands on sleepy heads. The porter smiles and fluffs the beds. See all the beds on the train? Are you ready? Chugga, chugga, shh, shh. Good job. Sheep Leap Station, hit the brake. Sleepers sleep, no one's awake. Sheep everywhere, moving slow. The good night train cannot go. Can you make another prediction? How do you think they're gonna get the sheep off the track? Hmm, see if you can make a guess or a prediction to your parents. Let's see. They push and shove and rock the train. Bah, 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 the sheep complain. Sleepers toss and turn their heads, wiggling, jiggling in their beds. The engineer has a great idea. Count the sheep till the track is clear. Over the fence, they start to leap until everyone is fast asleep. You ready? 
Chaka, chaka. Shh, shh. Good job. The good night train slips and slides on midnight mountains steep hillside. Just before they reach the top, the engine makes a sudden stop. Hmm. At the peak, there's the peak, the moonlight's bright, shining like the sun at night. Sleepers cover up their heads, wiggling, jiggling in their beds. Umbrellas open left and right. Back to sleep, no more light. Clouds blow in, the night turns gray. The good night train is on its way. Chugga, chugga, shh, shh. Down midnight mountain race along until something seems very wrong. It seems like there's trouble up ahead. A naughty sheep has switched the track. Uh-oh, there's no turning back. On Wild Dream Hill, whistles blare, warning of a great big bear. Why is there a bear on the tracks? Sleepers toss and turn their heads, wiggling, jiggling in their beds. Pillow fight! Bear doesn't care, catching each one in the air. The bear looks like he's having fun with the pillow fight. Train whistle toots a brand new tune, a lullaby of stars and moon. Big Teddy sways and twirls around and lands fast asleep on the ground. Chugga, chugga, shh. The engine puffs up smoke and steam. The sleepers smile and dream a dream. The good night train's work is done. Soon, moon and stars will fade to sun. Chugga, chugga, shh, shh. Good night, train. Good night. The end. Good job, everyone. Thank you so much for letting me read those books with you. And we're going to do one more thing before my time is up. And that is going to be to get on another train. It's the goodbye train. So when we say the goodbye train, we're going to wave. And after we say, see you soon, we're going to go toot, toot. Can you help me with that? All right. Oh, the goodbye train is leaving. See you soon. <laughs> Oh, the goodbye train is leaving. See you soon. <coughs> oh, the goodbye train is leaving. Oh, the goodbye train is leaving. Oh, the goodbye train is leaving. See you soon. <coughs> Thanks a lot for joining me tonight. We do this every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 7 p.m. So come back on Friday for another librarian to read you your bedtime stories. Thanks again. Good night. <coughs>